I'm great today and we've got lasagna on the menu with a little twist. It's green. We've got peas in there, we've got pesto, we've got broccoli, we've got some nuts, and then we've got the usual tomatoes and some cheese in there. So it's a little bit different, but it's gonna be fantastic, even if Mel doesn't think so. So I've got my work cut out today, but it is gonna be great, trust me. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. It's really great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, you're making a very different lasagna today, a green lasagna. Mel yep. was poo-pooing it earlier, but oh, no. I suspect it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> okay, inspiration, where did that come from? Well, just we're into spring now, so spring, if you sort of translate that into colours, it's green, it's fresh, you yes. know, so let's incorporate that in. We've got this beautiful pesto, which works well with pasta. Yes. You know, you've got these fresh peas, broccoli, you know, it's great. We've still got the tomatoes in there, nice sweet cherry tomatoes, and um, an easy way to put the meat factor in, you know. You can make, you can get the mint, you can flavour it, or you can just buy some good quality sausages and use that, you know, so it speeds up the time. Brilliant. Okay, what do we need to do first? Right, so first, so I've just got some boiling salted water, and I'm just blanching these um, uh, pasta sheets these right. lasagna sheets so they're just going to loosen off and it won't take as long in the oven and I find if you blanch it um, you know you get all that nice flavor in there and it goes in nice and nice soft you know nice. if, you, if you don't blanch you don't have to blanch it but you have to cook it a little bit longer and you have to be a little bit more careful otherwise it sort of dries out right so we're just going to peel carefully peel off the skin of these sausages right and then pretty much you've got that you've got your flavored mince and then you can just take a little bit, roll it, and then we've got a pan on here. I'll put a little bit of oil in. Yes. Get this hot, and then we'll just fry them off. So, you know, we've got our, our meat component here. So it's all about texture now. So we all want sort of like mouth size uh, pieces. So you've got these little balls here. We're going to cut some nice little florets of... Uh, some what? Some what, Florets. Florets. <laughs> florets. florets right. of uh, broccoli, and then just we'll blanch bits. them. Bits, bits of pieces. broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> pieces, yeah. And then uh, we've got the cherry tomatoes as well. Yum. So Delicious. It looks spectacular when you lay it all out, and it's going to be even more spectacular when we finish. So straight away, I can see what Mel's doing wrong. She's not blanching any of her lasagnas. Uh, so that's the first step that she needs to incorporate <laughs> into her cooking. I'm sure her sons will agree with me. OK. <laughs> that's why she's a fan of Whoop. <laughs> they do everything for her. OK. <laughs> right. Right. so we're just getting in there and so we just slightly brown them it's going to go in the oven so we're not cooking them at this stage we're just getting a bit of color on this stage okay cool right I'll have a look at the uh, broccoli so just cut it in half and then yep. you can expose the core and then tip of your knife you can just sort of cut down get these nice little chunks like so if they're a little bit big we'll just cut them down again or cut them into three so I've got some uh, boiling salted water yep just here they go in you know it won't take long to cook maybe sort of two, two, three minutes. Okay, cool. And then what we're gonna do, we're not gonna refresh them. So normally if you've got a green vegetable and you blanch it, you know, you refresh it. So it doesn't go, um, doesn't brown, doesn't brown and go overcooked. Ah, okay, so okay. what you mean. So, so when, when you refre that. if you were to refresh it, what do you do? Yeah, you so know? refreshing, so just in uh, ice water. So blanch right. it, put it in ice water and it'll stop the cooking process. So just it won't like go us brown. humans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Right, so we'll have a look at the pasta. Yeah. So, how's it looking? Yeah, so it's good. So it's still quite, still quite al dente, but you just, you know, you've lost that sort of crispiness. So that's pretty good now. It's pliable. We can use it in there. Okay, cool. So you don't want to overdo it, do you? No, you don't want to cook it all the way through. We're just sort of like loosening it up because it is going to go in there. Okay. Right, do you so need we'll me to do anything? I'm, I'm just standing here today. No, no, no. You can just. Oh, can... good, sweet. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> We've done it all week. Why change now? <laughs> 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 right. So we got some. Um, so we got the broccoli in. Mm-hmm. Right, and then we've got some cherry tomatoes. So beautiful sweet cherry tomatoes, so they're just sort of coming into season now, so you've got that nice beautiful sweetness. Cut them in half through the centre. Yep. And then you can arrange these just on the baking tray, and then we're just going to pop them in a hot oven for about sort of five, six minutes, and they're just going to sort of warm up, and then it'll just release some of the juices and just sort of slowly start to roast. You don't want to take them too far, otherwise they're just going to be, not, well, it's going to be mushed through the lasagna. I guess you don't want them that, you don't want them the other way? No, no, no. It, you can put matter. this side up, and right, then we're cool. going to uh, sprinkle them with a bit of oil, yep. and then a good amount of salt and pepper. Okay, I can do that. All right, you do that, so and then into a hot oven, so about 200 degrees, uh, just for a few minutes. Okay, cool. Get the old alpha one in there too. Yep, yep, that's Sweet. it. Nice. Right, there you go, so we've chef. got our pasta. Nice. Cool, and then we're just going to come back, we're going to finish the sauce, and then we build it, and that's it. Nice. We are back in the kitchen and finishing off this lasagna. Right, so we brown the uh, ball, so we've got a nice bit of colour on there. <laughs> yep. The broccoli is blanched, so you can carefully lift it out with a spoon, drain yep. the excess liquid off, and you can pop it in here. Okay. We'll start building this uh, layer, uh, the layer of sort of green sauce in, in this pan here. Okay, nice. 
Do you know okay. Want... Okay. You well, don't not want to, you can put a little yeah. bit of water because right. you've got that heat. It's going to go off. Some peas going in there as well. Nice. I'm going to put some pesto in. Good. So look at all this flavour, you know. It's a, it's a colour and taste of spring here. That goes in. Right, we've got a little bit of mascarpone as well. Mm, yeah. Pop that in. So I'm going to put half into the mix here. Yeah. And then the other half I'm just going to pop into a bowl and just going to loosen it with a little bit of milk. And that's going to be our sort of sauce on the top. So I've got a little bit of milk in here. It's a smelling incredible. Okay, pine knots can go in there as well. Anyway, I got the tomatoes out before. When Holly was talking, oh, thank you. is, is thank that about you. right? That yeah, no, want? that's good. That's perfect. So okay, they just good. just gone in, so they sort of softened. You know, you've got the beautiful sort of sweet flavours. Right, a little bit of basil goes in there as well. We'll give it a light season, and there we go. Give that a good stir around. Look at this. This is a lasagna for St Patrick's Day. What? <laughs> <laughs> an Irish accent. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Potentially, yeah. Hopefully. Um, right, so give that a good stir around. Okay. And then we've got all our layers, and then we're going to start building. Right, so we're going to put a little bit into our base, into our lasagna uh, tin. Now, depending on how many uh, you upscale or downscale this recipe, you want to sort of choose a suitable tin. So I pop a little bit into there. Jeez, it smells good. How I haven't finished mixing it yet. <laughs> Don't rush me, chef. <laughs> Okay, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's enough? beautiful. You know, so it's nice and rich. You know, you can smell all those fresh, fresh herbs in there, the basil. And what do you want to do? Yeah. Put some in there. Yeah. So pop some in there. Okay, <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Okay, so we we'll just do, just do a little layer in here. Oh, I see what we do. Spread it out. Right. Okay, so you, you know, look at all the texture in here, and look at that colour. Right, and then we're going to do some pasta. Okay, sweet. So I'll pop some pasta in there. Let's do a little bit on the side. Right, and then we'll do a little layer of tomatoes, and then you can put another layer of the green on. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, and then we'll repeat the whole process. I'll tap you spoon it in, how's Perfect. that? Perfect, look at it, that's teamwork. Okay, cool, there you go. Yeah, you can go a bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making sure the elements are up, all my man boob will catch on fire. <laughs> okay, let's let's go, let's just go for it. Let's just do two layers of okay, pasta, you know. Yeah, give it a You know, it's spring, we want to be quite healthy, so we'll cut down on the carbs. Nice. Do another layer of pasta in here. So get these strips, lovely jubbly, and then we'll go for some more tomatoes. That's good, chef. That's really good. It's, it's not even finished yet. Okay, I'm liking this. Quite think, quick too. Once you got all the elements done, isn't it? Do you think Mel will like it? I think she will actually. <laughs> All right, cool. So we've got that on top. So that was just the uh, the mascarpone, just loosened down with a bit of uh, milk. Yeah. And then we're going to spoon this on the top. So this is sort of your white sauce of your lasagna. Yeah. You know. So I mean, look at all these colours. Now it's fantastic, isn't it? That is good. So that goes over the top. So be quite generous with this. You know, this is going to keep it nice and moist. Yeah. You know, as it goes in the uh, oven and sort of heats up, it you know it'll loosen up a little bit more and go over that. And then we've got some parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese, which we're just going to put on top. Nice. Look at that. And then we get it in the oven. Yeah. Nice work. So in the oven, hot oven for about sort of 25, 35 minutes. Yep. You know, until it all melted, all those flavours have come together, and the cheese is nice and crispy and beautiful. Okay, Mark, your lasagna turned out a treat. Look at that. It, it looks fantastic, doesn't it, Mel? It actually really oh. does. <laughs> <laughs>